sources of inspiration in my life. I mean, my family, um, my grandfather worked in Evervale Steelworks, um, a very working class background, but his motto was always hit your wagon to a star, so aim as high as you can. You know, because the, there's that quote, I can't remember who it's by, but it says, the danger is that we, um, it's not that we aim too high and we miss, but we aim too low and we actually hit it. You know, that quotation is fantastic, it's always like, right, what can I achieve? Um, and my, both my parents inspired us always to just, you know, you can, you really believe you can do something and just go for it. And I think, um, filling out that postcard and thinking about what really inspires me, it's thinking about those people that really lack self-confidence or have fears, but they go and do something anyway. Um, in my profession, I'm an executive coach, and I come across people all the time who have that, I call it the thread in your head, that voice that's going, you're going to muck it up, you know, it's going to be a disaster. And they develop strategies, or they just get brave and they just think, well, despite this, I'm going to go for it. And, and they, they succeed, and for me, that's the most inspirational thing. Really. Is there, is there any particular um, event or anything that, have you done anything yourself that um, you would say would be inspiration for other women? Um, I suppose my bravest moment, or it felt brave to me, was when I decided to resign. I had a really successful corporate career, you know, all the trimmings that go with that. And I decided that I'd really like to work for myself. My family were kind of self-employed and my dad had always been self-employed. And I was faffing about making a decision and my husband brought it down to kind of three things and he said, you can do it, if you do it and you succeed, great. If you do it and it fails, then you've got a great CV, you'll always go and get another job. Um, but if you never do it, you'll always wonder what if. And that for me was right and I resigned the next day and just went and set up my coaching business. So I suppose that was a bit of a, you know, I had big Fred in the head going on there. And I, and I did that. Okay, that's great. Um, I suppose somebody that would that really inspire me um, is Tani Gray Thompson. When I look at the passion and the drive and what she's exceeded, irrespective of all the things she's had to overcome, and just the way she talks about it is just amazing. And it often makes me sit back and think, like, you know, when I'm having a down moment, I think, gosh, you know, I've got this and this going on. And I look at somebody like Tani Gray Thompson and think, you know, she's just achieved so much in spite of everything that she had. Okay. Could you just tell me, sorry, I'm being completely okay. oblivious. I don't know who Tanya Gray Thompson is. Oh, she's um, she's a, um, I don't know quite what the title is, a para athlete. Oh, okay. Um, she's um, in a wheelchair and she um, she won, um, I can't remember which um, Olympics, um, but she's won several gold medals. Um, just amazing, inspirational woman and raised money for so many different good causes and just incredible. It's a shame Tani Great Officer